The Average John, presented to you by. Brazil will win. No, no, no. Argentina's gonna win because Messi will draw past everyone. I wish Spain will win. My whole family supports them. How about you, Andy? I hope Germany will win. Why? My dad bet all my savings on them. Won by a worthy goal in the marvellous city of Rio. My name is Aloysius, I'm here to talk about the brand idea and positioning of our campaign. What you've just seen is an unfortunate event in marketing. Academics actually have a term for it, they call it the polysemy theory. What it means is that a campaigner can have an unintended effect in creating multiple meanings in an advertisement. In this case, it's extreme. However, we believe that is not the main problem with the campaign. In the advertisement, they use children as an emotional object to target the audience. A look into NCPG's own data, we found that 3.6% represent Singapore's problem gambling group. And out of this 3%, 2.6% do not have children. So we believe the campaign has missed out on a significant portion of their demographics. Therefore, we seek to address this. The focus of our strategy will be on the demographic segmentation, primarily race, gender, and age. These three statistics prove that the young male Chinese fits the profile of a problem gambler. Next, we seek to raise awareness with this group, specifically on three fronts financial problems, relational problems, and mental well-being. At the end of this presentation, we will run you through a video that attempts to connect emotionally with the audience. Next, we will have Edison to speak more about our communication strategy. Thank you, Aloysius. Our strategy would be to create an advertisement that targets the demographic mentioned earlier, which are young on how they would react towards advertisements and the sort of media that would suit the campaign the most. The media used for this campaign would be the digital media, TV advertisements, and billboards, which will be strategically located at busy areas like in the city and transportation hubs. That way, the advertisements will be taken notice. Every single country has its own sets of guidelines when it comes to advertising. And in Singapore, it's no different. All advertisements have to go through a set of guidelines listed in the Singapore Code of Advertisement Practice, which is governed by the Advertising Standards Authority of Singapore. Noting on these guidelines, our advertisements would definitely adhere to the general principles of to not subvert social and family values. As we aim to create a campaign that would help tackle a social and family issue, which is gambling. Hi, my name is Adeline and I'll be touching on creative and media ideas. Our aim is to create a media advertisement that promotes anti-gambling among Singaporeans, especially our targeted demographic of young Chinese males. We would like to utilize this advertisement as a media to extend our reach 
affluent audiences who may face or are already experiencing issues with problem gambling. The advertisement will comprise of two different phases. Uh, first, we will launch it in a series of short video teasers. And the idea of these teasers is to show real life situations of how any typical Singaporean individual or the average John will be forced towards a path of problem gambling. Now, let's take a look at our teasers. Alamak, brother, why your watch so old? You know, yesterday I bought a new watch, you know, from Cartier, limited edition, $20,000 only. So, where are you getting yours? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, <coughs> uh, I, I'm, I'm definitely getting a new a new watch um, next month. Hey, bro, hey, just play a new game. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, okay. sure. engage them. These teasers will not explicitly inform the audiences that it is an anti-gambling ad, but rather allow the audiences to interpret it creatively based on their own cultural reference point. The second phase introduces a finale advertisement that appears as a continuation or an ending prior to the previous three teasers. Yes, at the end of this finale, we will highlight an important solemn message. Statistics show 95% of people lose when they gamble. And what would you do if you were him? These messages will place the audience in the shoes of the average John that we have created. And we believe that these messages could trigger a second thought in potential problem gamblers about thinking twice before they take the wrong path in life. On top of the media advertisement, our team would also like to propose a gambling personality test app and this app carries a series of questionnaires to determine whether an individual has been affected with problem gambling. Many Singaporeans may feel that they do not have problems with gambling, but by taking this test would actually provide them with some awareness with regards to their gambling activities. Yes, and so basically, after an individual has completed the test, the app would display his gambling personality based on his answers. And this personality correlates to the level of risk he has in problem gambling. For example, these personalities will rank from the cautious gambler, the adventurous gambler, the compulsive gambler to the dangerous gambler. And finally, based on these personalities, the app will introduce a short analysis of their current problem gambling issue. Not only as a self-discovery tool, this app is an interactive way to reach out to problem gamblers and advise them on how to cope with problem gambling. So now let's take a look at our finale advertisement that highlights the path of a problem gambler. 